If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please consider hitting the like button. It really does help the video out, even if I don't deserve it because I'm terrible at video games. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for absolutely no reason, the link for that is down below. If you do need any coins, head over to u7buystore.com. Use the code TVM at checkout for a discount. The link is in the description. What is going on guys, TVM here. Welcome back to the Road to Glory in FM 2022. We are currently Cumbria and Celtic about to take on the mighty Cambrian and Clidach who have just clawed back a point against Llanelli. They were 2-0 down with about five minutes to go. It ended 2-2. What a game that must have been to watch, especially for the neutral. Not if you're a Llanelli fan, but there we are. Uh, we are top of the table, as you can see on that right-hand side. We are clear by seven points. Things went badly wrong at one point we were only two points clear we dropped points at Swansea we lost loft loft we lost to Taft's well we lost to Trevelyan at, at one point beat Goitra 4-1 we, we we knew about that after I lost to Taft's well I stopped that 4-2-3-1 nonsense I only ever do that now if I'm desperate and we need a goal in a game in the last five ten minutes it just leaves us far too exposed and we don't have good enough defenders to cope with it. So, went back to the tried and trusted 4-2-4. Beat uh, Pontypridd 4-1. We beat Llanelli 2-1. That was a very close game. We were lucky. Meechan scored in the dying minutes to win us that one. Had to arrange a friendly to keep morale up. And a little bit of fitness as well. Because we had a two-week gap between Llanelli and Port Talbot. Beat Port Talbot 4-2. Couldn't get a goal against Britain Ferry. Despite my throwing everything at them. Uh, and then we've just come away with a win against Ammonford, three goals to two. It was close, that game. Uh, we finished it, I think, with... I was going to say we finished with 10 men. There was another game we finished with 10 men. Which one was it? Uh, I think that one we finished with 10 men. Uh, Garrett went off injured after I'd made three subs. So, we have an opportunity here to win the league. If we beat Cliddach... I, I call him Cliddach because it's just that's just a mouthful. If we beat Cliddach and... Llanelli drop points against Llantwit Major, we've won the league. However, if we don't beat Clinach, things become a little bit more complicated and it depends what Llanelli do as well. Harry Blackburn's going to get a start instead of Brown, who is injured. I am going to have to put another striker on the bench. No, I'll put Daniel Pritchard on the bench because there are far... Oh, there we go. Oh, no, yeah, hmm, no, wait. Ah, Reese. Let's put Reese back in. Hoven can go on the bench then instead of Pritchard. There we go, that makes sense. That's a little bit better. Morale is, is decent, to be fair. That uh, game, that friendly against Traharis really helped. We beat them 5-0. I didn't take charge of it. But it, it's really, really good way. Most people know about it, but it is a really good way of boosting morale when morale is low. A Ranger friendly, just against the worst team ever absolutely obliterate them and the teams all of a sudden oh we are fantastic i love myself you know that's that's the kind of thing you need to do so it worked but i didn't even do it for morale really i did it for fitness meachin's through on goal here he shoots he scores the referee linesman i don't know what's going on is the linesman looking at it and thinking no he's offside or is that going to count we're a minute in and we've gone a goal up against Cliddach. it's just a long ball out of his hands he's well on side and what a start I mean, end the game now, please. No? Cool. We're back in for the 30th minute. 1-0 up still. No highlights since. We are dithering with it in the midfield. Good ball out to Ward, who plays it to Bratley. He's got men over in the box. There are a lot of Clidach players in there. Blackburn stabs it. Goes out for a corner. Can Blackburn put a good delivery in here? He's not known for corner taking, and that is cleared. Not really much of a highlight. We have another one, though. Ball played into Ward. It's come off John and gone out for a goal kick. That was terrible. Gallagher has just scored, and I wasn't recording because it was one of those really stupid, like, nothing's really happening highlights from kickoff. And it was just, we already had a shot. The keeper saved it. It went all the way back to the halfway line and back in. Ball played into Gallagher, off the bar, or the keeper saved it, either way. And we've just scored to make it 3-2. I have gone positive as well, although I have made that... Uh, change just before we scored they've got a free kick they're about to peg us back instantly and it's off the line that was close 57 minutes in we haven't done anything since we scored that second goal and they keep stacking up the possession and the shots and, and all the rest of it and i'm not liking it at all 
they did come from 2-0 down against uh, Linetti, of course, so we do need to keep an eye on it. I don't want to go defensive because it just invites pressure. I just need to hope that we can maybe get a third goal. Ward steals it. Millwood knocks it forward to Gallagher. Meacham needs to run, and he doesn't. It's gone all the way back to the fullback. And he's given it away. Oh, God, we're on shorter passing. Ball played forward, and that's 2-1. Well done. Fantastic. I mean, I'm not expecting Champions League-style football here, but to smash it... Look, look at this. To smash it forward to no one. It's a terrible pass. Play it short, and you're not going to lose possession. It's as simple as that. And what does he do? Yeah, loses possession. Uh, need to maybe look at making a sub here. I do have Hoven I can bring on for Reese, And I am tempted to do that. Sam Thomas looks like he needs to come off, but I don't have a defensive change. So, in fact, I'm not going to change anything. I am going to remain on positive. They've only had two shots. We have a throw-in. Ward throws it into Gallagher, who oh, has just given it away. And we've nodded it down straight back to them. I swear, if they score here, I am going to cry. If we don't win the league from this point... Oh, they've done it again. They've come from 2-0 down. What is it with this team? Uh, let's change Reese to attack. I'm going to bring on Hoven for Reese as well. And probably not going to. Maybe Jack Martin for Bratley. Has Bratley played well? No, not particularly. Let's take Bratley off. Bring Martin on. That'll do. I don't know what it is with this team, but they thrive on going two goals down. Can we, for the love of God, please get a winner? Because that would put us in such a strong position. It would mean that Llanelli absolutely have to win tomorrow. Otherwise, the league is ours. And even if they do win tomorrow, we only need to win one of our last three games to secure the league. I'm pretty sure that's... I don't know. Maths isn't my strong point. Ball into Meech and headed down. Oh, he's looped on the top of the bar. Do I go attacking? I mean, a point is better than nothing. But, you know, no guts, no glory kind of situation, really. Um... Don't want to do that. Let's well, actually no. I do want to do that. Let's up the tempo a little bit. Let's also get stuck in because why not? And we'll just there. We'll leave it there. Four minutes. Oh dear God! If they score, it's just going to make it a little bit harder. I think we might have to win two games. Oh, that is. Well, I did say tackle harder. And Jack Martin's been sent off. I. I mean, to be fair, that is my fault. I did say get stuck in, but did, did he really need to like? Try and eat him. I don't know. Um, Shadow striker, I think, here. Maybe focus play through the middle. We'll still do the overlap. We'll go for pass into space. We'll up the tempo even more. <laughs> Should I be doing this? Ten men? Probably not. Uh, I do have another sub I can make, actually. But do I really want to? Yeah, we'll bring on Piers for Gallagher. Why not? And there. Let it run. Two all. Maybe. Yeah, two all... <laughs> We were 2 up. They did it against Llanelli, so I can't really complain. The big question is, can Llanelli beat Llantwit Major? Because if they do, then it puts us exactly where we were a minute ago. But if they lose, then I think it might just mean that we need a point in our last game. Or one of the last three games. Uh, right, here we go then. Let's find out. Did Llanelli beat Llantwit Major? We have two weeks to wait as well until we play Llantwit Major, so I will have to play a friendly in between there to keep the fitness up. And that is irritating. What? What is that? How, what? How is there enough time for that to happen? That is mental. I mean, to keep their title hopes alive, it was two all... And then they scored in the 92nd minute. They scored in the 96th. And then Kinsella scored straight away from kickoff by the looks of things. And they won 4-3. That. That's annoying. <laughs> Today could be the day we are crowned champions. We are relying on Riska to beat... Um, who are they called? Llanelli, of course. That's the team I named. I've named them more than any other team I think I've ever named in a video before. Uh, but we do have a chance to win the league if... Riska can do the business, and we, of course, need to beat Llantwit Major, a team that lost against Llanelli uh, literally two, no, two, yeah, two weeks ago, because we played a friendly in between that. We won that friendly 6-1. It was one of those, that's just play a really bad team to boost morale kind of job. The the, the problem with, um, let's put Travis James on the bench, the problem with the this lower down 
that you can't really keep like match sharpness up because they just don't have enough training. They they train maybe once or twice a week. It's an absolute nightmare. So uh, Brown is going to have to play even though he's not really fit enough to play. Uh, Blackburn is injured for the rest of the season, more or less. Jack Martin is suspended. I don't really have anyone else who can play right wing. So when, not if, when we have to bring Brown off, we're going to have to change formation or I'm going to have to just play left heavy and maybe bring on another central midfield player or something. It's going to be a pain in the ass. We are looking at this game, though. The one beneath ours, Risker against Chinetti. I am not expecting Risker to do anything. However, if they do, and we can pick up a win here, that is the season done. Chinetti have scored. It's not the end of the world if they do win. It just means that we obviously need to win. And, and then the net, we've got two games left of the season after this. So it just means... We'll keep it going. Uh, and if we win our next game, we've won the league regardless. But we need to focus and beat this team first. They have had more of the ball. Millwood knocks it over the bar. I think they've had more of the ball. No, we've had far more of the ball. 65. I've, I keep thinking we're yellow. We are green. Uh, we have made it to half time. apparently. That was the fastest half of football I think I've ever seen. We'll go straight back out for the second half. We'll encourage the boys as well, because Gallagher is not happy. Gallagher's still not happy. You can just about see his little face under my camera. Uh, we've had two shots on target, four shots in total. Our XG is horrendous. This is a little bit worse somehow. And um, yeah, 20 minutes left, not one highlight. I'm going to go positive, because a win here is it's not a must, but it would be very nice to be able to just knock this on, on its head. Uh, Lucas Hoven's going to come on. I'm going to put him on attack due to he's pretty good at running through the middle and causing problems in the penalty area. We're on positive. We're going to go and encourage once more again. We have a highlight. We start with the ball at the back. Ward, who's picked up a knock. I need to take Brown off, actually. He might oh, he might fall down injured in a second. He's not really meant to be playing. He's played 76 minutes. Ward, who is also injured, like I just said. Thomas. To Millward, who has just been given a new contract at the club. As have I. I've signed a year extension to my deal. I'm not sure whether I'll actually see that out or not. But we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll see. If we go up, there's not really any need to leave if we do get promoted. And we can see what we do in the Premier League. But, um, yeah, Premier Division. Not necessarily the Premier League. We are dithering. What is going on? I feel like Meachin to Hoven. It's hit the post. I was going to feel, I was going to say, I was going to say... I feel like a Meachin goal coming on. He nodded it down, and unfortunately, we couldn't make it work. Brown, surprisingly, isn't that bad. Nicky Ward is dead. McDowell or... No, Gammond. Bit of Gammond and Egg to come on. Do I take off Gallagher and bring on George Pierce? Is there any need? Is he going to do anything? Or do I bring on Rob Jones? Or do I bring on... Carrington and take off Millward, who is absolutely dead. I'm going to bring on Rob Jones because he's not a good striker. Well, he, on paper, he's OK. The fans don't like him. The board were unhappy that I bought him. So what a player to come on and score the winner. I can't encourage because I've only just done it. They have a highlight. If we concede here, that does put us in a rather precarious situation. Oh, dear. Um... It's not the end of the world because we are still clear at the top of the table. And we play two teams that realistically we should be winning. I mean, we play Risker for one and we play Undy, who are now beating Tafts well, and we lost two. We've just lost to Llantwit Major. If Llanetli were ever going to drop points, it would be here. Carmarthen, who are in fifth. Uh, they play Llanelli at home, so we need to hope. But I, I need to not focus on that. We need to beat Undy. We didn't beat them last time around. And, bit of a problem now, Ward is out for this game and probably the next game as well. So Gammond is going to have to sit in that left-back spot. I'm not confident of his ability, to be honest. Jack Martin does come back onto the bench. Brown is fully fit to play. Blackburn not quite ready to come back. 
and Matthew Andrews, who is our main uh, right back, is going to come back in for Garrett. Garrett's going to have to go on the bench, though, for Rob Jones because he will 100% have to come off at some point during this game. Although I did think that about Brown, and he played the full 90 in the last one and seems perfectly fine now. We need the strongest team possible against Undy because I have no faith in, in this at all. Uh, I am going to keep an eye on that um, Carmarthen game, but my main focus is going to be to win this. Uh, if, if we win this, it doesn't matter what Linelli do. We're two points clear. I just want to get the season done and dusted now so we can maybe look to either build uh, whether we need to go for promotion again or whether we're in another division or whether we look to move away from the club. I just want to know what I'm doing and then it'll give you some closure as well as me. Ball into Gallagher. Bratley scores. And that is not just a goal. That is an emphatic finish. I'm going to skip this because I just want to get through the game. I, I want to know <laughs> if um, if we're champions or not. That was a great goal from Bratley, though. He doesn't score many, but when he does, they are big goals. Half an hour gone. Still nil-nil in that Carmarthen game. We have a free kick. Andrews dinks it over the top. Bratley is there. Can he play it across Gallagher with a little nod down? And it is a goal to make it 2-0. I'm not 100% confident of still winning this game because of what happened against Cliddach. But it's uh, that's a pretty good goal. Andrews provider as well. Bratley has got an assist and a goal in this game. Big performances from that player. I do like him. Uh, Carmarthen have just scored. That's the, the, Honestly, if Carmarthen beats Llanelli and we keep this scoreline the way it is, we've won the league. And I, I honestly didn't expect to do it. I was thinking sixth would be the best we could possibly hope for. Gallagher in on goal and he's hit the bar. Oof, what a first half of football. And there is the end of the first half. I was hoping to finish above 13th. That's all I cared about. And we're in a position now where we can actually be crowned champions. Whew. Just need to hope that uh, Carmarthen don't let that lead slip, really. I mean, obviously, we, we need to make sure that we don't let our lead slip. But that Carmarthen game is very important right now. Just keep looking at it. Keep looking at the time as well. Can we make a sub? Uh, maybe. I don't, to be fair, I don't really want to change anything. I'm happy with the way it is. At the moment, we don't. I don't care about the last game of the season. It doesn't matter. So don't really need to save players for it. So we just need to make sure that we see this game out. I am going to bring on Garrett for Andrews because Andrews isn't really meant to be playing much more than he is right now. And I'm going to take off Reese so he doesn't get sent off. And I'm going to bring Hoven on, who I trust in the midfield, by the way. Come on, then a 2 up. We're 2 up. Are we champions? I think we might very well be champions going to leave it exactly the way it is. Carmarthen have beaten Llanelli 2-0. We are picking the trophy up away from home. Is that something that actually happens? Didn't think it was, but we have been crowned JD Cymru South champions, which means we will go into the Premier Division next season if we stay at the club, because I obviously don't know what's going to happen. It kind of looks like the World Cup. It's not. It's far from it. But there we are. I don't even know who the captain is. So... Yeah, I'm, it's not that I'm not invested. It's just that this low down, it's a merry-go-round. It's like a, it's a, a revolving door in, in the club. Players come in, they, they spend like two weeks here and then they can leave. It happened. Um, I can't remember his name. The striker that... See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. The striker that came in, I can't remember his name. He came in, he played nine games and then he left. And it, it, it's exactly what happens. Uh, but Gallagher got a goal and assist. Bratley got a goal and assist. Those two have essentially just won us the league. And there we have it. In the very first season where we were predicted to get relegated or at least fight against relegation, we have gone on to win the league. It looked a little bit dodgy here or there. Oh, fantastic. Look at that transfer budget of nothing. To be fair, you don't need a transfer budget in this league or in the league above. To compete for the title, you do. And obviously, if you go on to play Champions League football, because there is Champions League or there are Champions League spaces in the top flight of Welsh football, as well as Europa League. And I'm assuming there must be conference uh, places now as well. But we have been given two and a half thousand on the on the wage, which is massive because I mean, that's huge, right? Because we've only been spending three hundred and eighty four pound right now. That is a massive amount of money. 
I didn't even twig. We've been given £2,100 a week extra on top of what we have. I've just locked in our best players as well to uh, another year or two in contract on the current wage of £15 a week. So, yeah, going into next season, we're actually going to be able to build a pretty decent squad of players that could easily keep us up. I'm, we're not going to be able to go for the league because TNS are far too strong. But we're going to be in a very good position to make a good account of ourselves and put my my, my services on display, if you will, because that, that's exactly what we're looking to do now. I'm looking to advertise myself as a good manager. So that's hopefully what we can do. The league table isn't quite done and dusted because, of course, we do need to play one more game. I will be back in the next episode to run through the final table, uh, top goal scorers and stuff, but I think it's safe to say that Tom Meachin has absolutely obliterated the top goal scorer uh, position. He needs one more man of the match to um, match George Priest, and J James Reese has almost more yellow cards than anyone else. You can't quite see that. Matt Brown with 17 assists. He won't play in the last game, so he still will finish top, though. Uh, Meachin has the second highest uh, average rating. So, yeah, we owe a lot to Meachin and Matt Brown, two very good players. And there we are, champions of the second tier of Welsh football. I'll be back in the next episode. Maybe we'll be here, maybe we won't. And if we do stay, we're going to have to really, really go into that transfer market and build up a very good team in order to stay in the division above because the difference is massive. If you have enjoyed this episode, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until the next time, goodbye.